Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as the Republic of the Rio Grande under Gera. So, last time, we had that some Texans rebel, we wanted to make some Mexican chariots, we were having a good time. So yesterday I asked you guys, what planes should we use? Closer support? Bomber. Someone said I should, re I should pretty much research everything. I might, we'll see what happens. But the majority of the support went to close air support. So we will be using close air support in this campaign, and right now, apparently someone's justifying on us. Imperio Mexicano Maximilian already wants to beat us up. And I'll be honest here, this is my second attempt at recording this because Maximilian, he's pretty tough, he's pretty tough. And we don't have any APCs yet. I would love to have my APCs, but we don't have them quite yet. So we gotta do this. And because if you know anything about Tlaloc's sons, they um, they're pretty. They can be pretty tough, and they like using robots. Lots of robots. Get inspirational. Sure. So if we had to fight them, we're mostly using these guys. We got to use some anti-tank. These guys are only 14 combat width, which is really not ideal. Anti-tank. Uh, yeah. Come up here. I really don't want to lower this amount, but at this point, it's kind of desperate. So we'll see what happens. I don't have a lot of faith in this right now, but. It's also an election year, and I do want to do broadcast wrestling matches. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Good, let everyone move down there because uh, you. Uh, how much longer does? Oh, we don't know. We don't know how long he's going to take. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. Uh, doesn't look like he's a lot of divisions though. One, two, three, four, five, six. There might be opportunities to exploit holes of his, which sounds really, really weird. But, uh, yeah. Anti tank. Come on, we gotta make more than half a day. Oh, Pulse raids an armory, taking advantage of Rio's desperate straits to raid one of its few remaining armories. This will only exacerbate the problems facing the Republic and leave it vulnerable to future aggression. Oh, that's not good. And also, if we wanna get rid of him, we just need to arm these guys here, which is pretty darn important. And right now, we could do more Senate stuff, but we already get 70.3% of all senators, so I'm feeling pretty good about that already, so, yeah. Yeah. If possible, I'm going to try to do encirclements, but there's really no guarantee. I need that anti-tank immediately. Oof. Oh, let's go ahead and do this again. Nice. Because we don't want him to raid us anymore. And go ahead and repair that. We need we need every factory available. And crap. Then they go into war. Hmm. Do we see how many divisions they have? Six, 16. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I probably can't pierce any single one of them, but uh, Lee, Robert Edwards, do you have anything for us? Ninja? I don't think we get recon immediately. Oh, we do! Actually, you know what? Let's do that. We can probably use that. Special Forces, there's only one of you. Animal Friend, Local Leader. Eh, it's not really worth it. We might be able to attack there, but I really think we could do an attack right here. Maybe? We would probably get encircled, though. Um... I really need to do this attack, so do that to help cover the hole there. You don't let him move. You don't let him move. You do that and do that. Just do that and do that. Can I just take... Oh, they... They have a guy there. Hmm. Come on. You can take him out. I know you can. Come on. I might have to just push out some... Ooh, divisions. An early APC division. Good. How did I get encircled here? No. Yeah, no. You can die. You can die in a hole. The Northern Protection Act. Good. Uh, we can do more Texas stuff. Avila's New Deal. Much faster constru civilian construction speed. Which, which is probably good to do since it takes forever to build them anyway. So, the New Deal. Although our nation's assets have been reclaimed, our war on poverty is not yet over. The aftermath of the Day of the Dead is with us even now. And people look to us, the government, to support them now and beyond. By using our actions during the crisis as a foundation, we can begin to offer long-term contracts to our workforce, facilitating healthy economic growth across the nation. I'm going to do this. This is really unfortunate. I really don't want to do it like this, but I have to. And we're going to do a guy named Ignacio Echevarria. More supply consumption. I really don't like that. Ooh, but whatever. You got to rescue him. Are you kidding me? Game? Seriously? Alright, you want you want holes? I'll give you holes. Um, 
So be it. Oh, actually, you can just walk in there now. Just hold, hold, hold. I said hold. Defend to the last man. All right, so they're really being crazy here. You know what? I'm just going to go try to encircle them all or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's probably a bad, bad, bad idea. That's okay. Come there. I want. I have to cut these guys off. These guys are nuts. Good. We, we saved them for now. Get up there. Get up there. And the Veil Bandits join the Phantasma Cartel. Very nice. Very nice. Come on. Move. Move. These aren't APCs, but it's the best we got. Okay, APCs, could you please get down here? Oh, we got some allies, maybe. Good. Free states. Go and retreat. Just don't die doing this. Hold. Alright, they want to do that. Then we will do this. Oh, wait, what are you doing? No, no. Go straight for the capital. Oh, actually, we might be able to pull an encirclement off right here. That would be great. And they're attacking me right there. Our allies. So be it. So be it. Go ahead and take that out. Go ahead and take that out. That'll be important. A song from the front. Real Grandian forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of our soldiers has composed a little poem from the front. We could play this throughout the nation to rally the nation to the cause. Yes, let's grab some more war support. And let's put down some of these raiders as well. Arm the militias. Finally, we made an encirclement. Good. Get you guys down here. It's only two divisions, but you know what? I'd rather have them dead than not, so... You should be able to kill these guys off. These, this is just a distraction. Over here, though, killing them off is the most important thing. Oh, we even took the capital. Nice. No, 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 for the love of God. No, no, no. That's BS. That's complete BS. Come on, APCs. Move, move, move. Encircle them. Oh, don't you dare, son. Don't you dare. Move these guys down. We don't have a lot of supplies, but that's okay. Um, you might... Nah, you might not be able to do that. Just don't get encircled yourself. Don't... No. No. If you have to do the retreat, so be it. Uh, come up there. You should be able to get here before they do. That'll be important. Go take the land. There's another potential encirclement here. Oh, good. We can cut them off. Kill them. 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 They deserve nothing except death. New deal. Good. Los Minutos. Ah, oh, well, we can actually get four uh, militia divisions. Nice. Let Paul's come. The people of the Rio Grande bow to no tyrants. Good. Kill them off. Let us have a victory immediately. Come on. Before we lose here, you have to hold. Like, I'd rather lose you than... Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Oh, maybe we can't. Oh, boy. Nice. All right, so you come down here and circle them. We'll do the best we can. You guys come here, too. And circle that division. Ooh, this is not easy. This is a little frustrating, but that's okay. You guys are coming down here to hold. As you guys are just going to be swinging around here. Maximilian must die. And of course they would do that. The pale of folk. You know what, just come down here. Just cut him off. Just straight up cut him off. That's the most important thing, just cutting them all off. Yeah, no, make them do that. You guys come down there and do that. You guys begin to encircle. You're not very strong, but that's okay. We don't need super strong guys right now. I could go for the capital, but that leaves me in a pretty bad position. We've got some resistance. We've lost a lot of guys. How are you not winning? I swear to God, Maximilian is overpowered. Like, all of his... All the robots from Tlaloc are completely overpowered. Now, immediately go ahead and try to kill them off. Good. Uh, doesn't matter. You have to attack. You have to make them starve. No, they have to attack again. You have to make them starve. Good. Let's see. Overall, they have 6 to 12. I have 16. But just because you have more divisions doesn't mean they're good. Come on. Oh, and don't, don't want to forget. We've got armed militias. Actually, what are we using for occupied territories? Good. And we want to go pacification. Even though we don't have the guns for it. Ooh. That's not good. Nice. Good. We get get rid of those pieces of garbage. Whew. Not bad. Not bad. This is 
Not great, but not bad. Be under someone else. Uh, I'm going to save it for arming the militias. I'll put you right here so we can get rid of that division too. Please, for the love of God, no one else fight me right now. Who? Also, apparently I'm going the Gira uh, path, which means that um, I'm going to fight the Legion when they have literally, apparently, hundreds of divisions. So, this is not the easy path. But a gift for Kaisar because we get more stability. So, Los Minutos will hunt Paulus down. Let's send him back to Kaisar in a body bag. Good. We get these divisions. Uh, if I delete these guys, actually, we get like 72 basic weaponry. These guys aren't great. I could really use the equipment, though. And Militia, they're okay. I'm just going to delete them. Radical idea. Free guns. Free guns. Did that help? That did help quite a bit. Keep down stability, or keep down uh, resistance. I'm going to delete that division. Oh man, I was not expecting a hard fight at the beginning of this episode. <sighs> nice. That's okay, though. Let them think, what, let them think that they know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm glad I deleted those divisions. I'm glad we got those divisions so I can delete them, actually. Let's do that. And we're done. And then we're going to do some uh, wrestling matches. Nice. Finish this area off. Spread out their front line. Oh, good. Uh, you know what? You move in. You just stall them. Stupid infantry. Go burn in a hole. Oh, that's not good. I really hate these robot divisions so much. If that's the case, I mean, if you want to abandon your own line, I mean, that's fine with me, man. Abandon your line. Where would we? Let's get some of that. That'd be good. And we are almost down there. And they're going to go immediately north this way. There you go. Go and hold. We can't pierce them. How much anti tank do we have? Not enough. We don't have enough of anything. Really, Garbo. Come on, get up there. Stupid infantry division. Die in a hole. Oh. Someone fell ill. That's okay. Uh, that's the case. Just kind of go up that way. Keep them in place. Destroy that robot division. We got encircled because these guys are being crazy. Well, if we want to go crazy, we can do that too. Nice. Come on, get that APC up here. Come on, APC. Move faster than that. Ah, get for Kaiser. Good, we got more stability. War support's looking pretty good. And Warn, the... Oh, we could get more civilian construction speed. No oh, goodness. So, with the attack on Gloria, our nation's military production is in dire straits. We can provide a quick bailout to reduce the worst effects. Paul says raids three days. I don't think we've already done everything. Yep, we have completed it, my friends. We have done it. Season patriotism. Now we can mobilize the people. It's not great. Eh, we can wait. Nice. Another encirclement. Both of you help out. And... Did someone say encirclements? Catch up to those robots. Make sure they don't get too Rancho Prospero. Good. Oh, thank God they're dead. Thank God. Let's go for the Nairs or something. Decode signals. Nice. Not bad. Do not let them leak up. If they do, that's a big no no. Cut them completely off. No supplies, no mercy, no rest. For these pieces of robotic garbage. And take the capital if you can. Nice. Oh, we were defeated. That's not good. Take Monterey, take Monterey. You, God dang, you take forever to move. Why do you take so long? 1.7? Alright, so we got it. Linares? God dang it, they're not dead yet. So, you know, I don't even trust the APCs moving that quickly now. Go ahead and take those guys out, or take the tiles away. Kill them off, they deserve death. Well, they're not even alive, technically, so. We've lost a lot of guys. We've lost 1.1,000. They've lost 700. That's not bad, but... Mmm... Mmm... Seriously? You guys just can't take him out? 
Take the capital. Come on, come on, come on, come on. People are dying because of you. Oh my god. Oof. That took a while. That was not easy. That was not fun. It was fun, but it was... Oh. And now we have a bigger border with Santa Ana. Just what we wanted, my friends. Just what we wanted. If that's the case, we need a lot more of this. We need a lot more of everything now. Jesus. I need dogs. Ooh. I really need to get more dogs. Any more of this? Any more of this? But let me know in the comments below. Let me know. What should this Mexican Chariot Army's name be? It's Army 3, but I really want to emphasize Mexican Chariots here. So let me know what the army name should be. Also, what kind of, I just thought of this. Let me also know. Should I use ballistic weaponry in this campaign? Or energy weaponry? I'm open to both. I have a good feeling I should go ballistic since we're using APCs, but... Like I said, let me know in the comments below. Man, that was a big war. That was... Ugh. Uh, let's war on the TWA citizenry, though. The TWA does not command the hearts and minds of Texas. Many of its citizens will still fight for honor and glory if only we encourage them. So unfortunately, after we get this one, I'm not going to continue doing land doctrine. I have to get dogs because... Well, that'll help us put down enemies. Or put down uh, these people. Followers of the apocalypse, no one cares. Oh, we're going to lose war support. Ah. <sighs> That sucks. I'd love to go down and do that stuff, but we need dogs. I have to get dogs immediately. Because militias are good, but with doggos, that's good stuff. Yeah, I have, we broadcast another speech. We already have 79% of all senators, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Rio, Death comes to Rio. Maximilian's key has fallen to the Republic of the Rio Grande. With its control, Armageddon Station is almost within reach. Excelente. Awesome. And, and let's go do that. We'll grant them bases. We'll be nice with them a little bit. Alright, so what are we missing? Infantry equipment. Which is going up. Which is not good for us. A little bit of lag, so be it. Do that. Do that. Make even more if you can for now. That's going to be very, very important. Is it still going up? It is still going up, but it won't go up forever. Uh, yeah, we're going to, need to probably do probably public projects, begin scavenging program. I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy so we can build stuff faster and get more stability. That's really nice. Oh, wait, let's build up. Um, yeah. Let's get that one done first and then we'll move this up. Thank you. Another military factory is great. Awesome. We're in the TWA citizenry. Negotiate for compromise. There's a chance for accommodation. Although some of the barons must go, we can work with others. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now oh, look at my war sport going down. And we are mobilizing a little bit more, which is yeah, not bad, not bad. But, oh. I mean, I'm glad we expanded, but that cost us a lot. I mean, that cost us quite a bit. Uh, guns slowly going up more and more, but we already have a good chunk. Wow, Ruin Depot is doing pretty darn well. Going up by 0.2 a day. 0.2 a day. There's definitely a cap for... Uh, resistance. Yakuza territory declared war in Vault City. All right, man, our manpower is going down. But hopefully, we can core this area sooner rather than later. We're still at 79%, so that's just amazing. Um, good. Get more stability that way. 9% war support really isn't good. Resistance target. So, setting the table. To the TWA's great surprise, the capitalist utopia devolved or devoted only to selling guns, ran into problems immediately. Barons fought each other with one another over market share in the streets of Texan cities. Legion emissaries were soon encouraging conflict, and super mutants were reported prowling these borders. Maybe the TWA's protection was a good idea after all. Gera, after reading these reports, cynically commented, You're on your own. Awesome. Wow, do you have a clue what happens now? But perhaps this could be used to reach an agreement with the Barons, which next we're going to do protect the small arms manufacturers because we need arms workshops. Even if we have tensions within the or tensions with the TAA, many of our smaller craftsmen of the Republic will work with us. Let's get their help because I need more arms workshops. Badly. Very badly. Because even though I want to make a lot more APCs, we can't really afford it. Recon and that stuff is all nice, but we don't need more anti tank right now immediately. In time we will so ooh, basic tools nice. Probably grab that. Let's grab some of this. Plant cultivation. That can help us with population just a little bit more. Occupied territory. It's, it's coming along. It's definitely coming along. Uh, here, 
reader instructions. Oh, look, this has been capped already. That's really nice. It's, it's going down. It's going down actually by a little bit too. So that's really good. 9% small speech, new old gun. What is here? Chief of the army, veteran paladin, town defender, more entrenchment. Bringer of civilization, which I like. General wait and see. I like that one, but we're not really going to use them. Field medic. Experience soldiers, losser, losses. I like this one. Local sheriff's not bad. Caravan guard, damaged garrisons is not bad either. That could be really useful right now. I'm going to go ahead and do outsider auxiliaries. We get 5% more non core manpower, which is nice. We lose a little bit of stability. We get more resistance target, but we get more daily compliance gain. I think that would probably be worth it. I mean, this guy's good as well. Uh, let's go and do this one for so. Oh. Because I do want to get to outsider battalion, so we get a lot more non-core manpower. Because that 20% is a lot of manpower. And get more daily compliance gain. That's fine with me. Of course, stuff as soon as possible. Nice. Train mongrel. Good. Actually, that's going to be really, really good. We need some of this. We need a lot of things. But let's go and get some gliders, too. Put them right underneath that. There you go. Do we need even more guns now? 7, 18... Yeah. We do. Hmm. Oh, it's going down? Maybe, oh, oh, it's going down by one? Oh, it went up by ten. Went up by another one. Protect the small arms manufacturers. Good, good. Sign the Treaty Accord. Texan expertise. Let's do this one. So, it's official. The TAA has its autonomy, but we should have their undivided loyalty. Uh, falls ill. That's fine. We're not at war right now, so... Nothing is really changing over here, so that's fine with me. Oh my god, you're killing my war support, man. Come on, man. Come on. When can I have... Um, like, um... When can I have wrestling matches or broadcasting wrestling matches? God, I hope no one goes to war with me. This is a bad position we're in right now. Bad, bad, bad. Guns are looking like they're going down. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. These guys are capped at 23.3. Vacuum tubes are nice to have. Primitive radio? Sure. Let's make some more civilian... Workshops. I don't want to build them down here because even it'll be really great. We even own Tla Lok's lair. That's nice. But we don't have a cord, so that's going to take some time. We can do that first. Ooh, Lucha Libres. Declare one of the cartel. That could be a pretty good ally to have over here. Hmm. Russell Mongers. Followers spreading. Las Tres Mascaras. I have yet to play as this faction, but it seems like. Or nation. Seems like a lot of fun, though. Seems like a lot of fun. Can I already give them bases? How much metal do we got? We got plenty of metal. We can do that. It's fine. So, here we go. Mexico's tensest dinner party. Todd Howitzer, one of the TAA's moderates, hmm, was among those who recognized that the secession was perhaps a mighty, a might hasty. Todd's attempts to keep the barons aligned failed in face of competing self-interest, and Todd recognized that, absent from some degree of control, the TAA would be overrun by someone in the near future. He proposed a secret meeting with Gera to resolve the issue. Gera, in return, was willing to recognize the TAA's autonomy in exchange for a continued flow of arms and the promise of a new market in the American Southwest. Because Gera, you see, knew some folks under the Legion, Yoke, who might want guns too. And we'll do two future ventures. We have come to an agreement whereby the TAA will support us. In exchange, we will help them find new markets, either in Mexico or abroad. Good. Yeah, I really want to... I don't know why this isn't here yet. 64% stability. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Are we getting... Now we're losing some guys. Oh, it goes up by four. It goes up by another four. Nice. Very nice. Still a little bit of resistance, but this is looking a lot better. Oh, it's going down now. Good. Get as much compliance as you can today. We get 0 0.3. 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So it's really by 0.25 every day. That's nice. Nothing we can do here. That's fine. Whatever. Chief of the Army, Town Defender. Bring your civilization, like I said, is really good. I doubt I can do anything there. Anything there. Major businesses. Ooh, we want to build stuff up as fast as possible. Stability, less defense, robots, demos. We could double stack this to produce even more guns. We could really research things very quickly, which sounds like a lot of fun, but I still want this. I want to build up factories as fast as possible. I think that's the most important thing to do. Let's do that. I want to do that. That's a little bit more important for long-term growth. Gliders. You know what? That's okay. We'll keep this on for now. We'll see what happens, though. Do that, too. Gliders. And the people have spoken, and they want close air support. <gasps> 2% war support, wow. 
Oh, 2%. Supplies, we just need more saws or machine guns. Infantry equipment and APCs. Pretty normal stuff. You guys, if you can train, if you guys can train as well, to get more army speed to future ventures, though. Gear's proposal was simple. Instead of selling to the Legion, the TAA could sell to the many resistance groups in Legion territory, promoting Gera's foreign policy and their businesses as at the same time. Further, Gera's pointed out, though, if the rumors to the south were true, there might be more opportunities down Mexico Way in the near future, which opportunities would require access to Rio's territory. So if we get them as a puppet, we remove Texas secessionists, which are right here, which we get more mobilization speed, more recruitable population factor, more supply cons or technically less supply consumption, more division recovery rate, and more war support. So, to new customers, my friends. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Whew, we're feeling good now. Texan expertise. Not every gun manufacturer in Texas is a plutocrat. And many other employees would be happy to immigrate to Mexico for a better life. Uh, well, we're mobilizing just a little bit more, which is nice. Oh, it makes me feel better now. Woo! What do we have? Three. The election of 2277. Happy 2277, my friends. Beset by enemies within and without, the people of the Republic of the Rio Grande go to the polls. Let their foes come, for the Rio Grande has heroes of its own, Rosa, Mora, and Guerra. Any of them would make a great leader for the nation. Whatever our problems, siempre libre. Uh, oh, we have them as a puppet. Oh, that's just so good. I think at 79%, we have got enough support of the senators. The Senate, of course, will decide our fate. 1.68 political power day, not bad. Brotherhood declared war on the Xi. Not enough manpower. Guns. Our need is going down, which is... That makes me happy. That just makes me happy. Public projects. Construction speed. Manpower is going up. Making more factories. We've got plant cultivation. Let's do that some, some more as well. This is this is good. This is good. We are stable for now. For now, at least. We need dogs, which we're working on. We're really working on it. We'll finish this off. And then get some more of this. Wait, are we making... Do we have doggos? Oh, we are, we are already doing doggos. Good. Which will be important as well. But not as important as getting everything else, which is okay. Do that. That would be important. Good. We can stop lowering our war support, which is finally good. Jeez. Anything else down here? Oh, help, help settlements. I want more multi-population. I want that free civilian factory. That's all good stuff. Texan expertise, which we will follow up with American engineering. So, America was one of the two superpowers before the Great War. We can learn a great deal from the ruins and get some demo technology. That's actually a, probably a very, very smart idea to do. So we can build more stuff up. But you know what? We have 44 factories. We're actually not doing too bad. Oh, Estado de Texas. Led by good old Todd Howitzer. Ah, they are a Estado client. Client? Client? Oh, looks like they're winning. What is the casualty rate down there for now? Ah, here we are. 300 versus 400. Eh, it's fairly balanced. But they did lose some territory so far, so. Failed bandits. We will have to fight Kaiser's Legion soon enough, but we'll see what happens. Oh, the Shia looking pretty big. Um. Oh, you guys are killing each other. Ooh. This actually might be a really good time to attack these guys, just because they're distracted, but I can't really support that right now. Oh, we broadcast a speech. Indecision does not exist. Hmm. Oh, okay. How long would it take for me to core all this stuff? 230? You did get a good chunk of manpower. Oh my gosh. 300. Holy crap. Holy crud arenas. We gotta save up to get 300. Oh my goodness. Outside of battalions, might be better to do get more manpower now. And get just a lot more daily compliance. Even though right now, the compliance is already pretty good. I'm probably gonna save up 300 political power right now. So I can get Monterey core because if I can core Monterey, I mean that's just some good stuff. Good, you guys are doing great. The hand of the market. At long last, Dante Guerra has stabilized the economy for more war support, stability, and construction speed. Good. Finish that off, and then do that area, and then do that area again. That area, and then trade it off with that. Trade it off there, and trade it off there. Oh, oh, I have forty percent already. There you go. Something like that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to save a political power, because that, that's a lot of... Oh, that's a good old chunk of population. That is muy bueno, some might say. Alright, so since we're here, what is our gun supply like? It's positive. It's time to ruin it. And get another infantry division. Maybe two. 
That's probably a bad idea, but I want to get up to 20 combat width. If I were to throw on demos... Oh, we don't have demos. Go and do that. And I ruined the amount of... Yeah. But at least for now, let's make sure these are 20 combat width to make sure that they're an even number. That's pretty darn important. And let's continue doing land doctrine. I like mechanized warfare. I really love trooper warfare, but we're using chariots, so mechanized warfare is probably the way to go. Motorized flight. Nice. Nice. Uh... Traplane attackers, here we go. Anything else super important to do here? Not really. Good amount of manpower now. We almost have the hand of the market. I'd love to change this up a little bit more, but we can wait. Oh, we get more daily political power. It's not... It's only point one, so it's not really worth doing it right now. So, we'll wait. Nice. 79% stability. Approach the river merchants. Cool, that looks pretty good. Also, uh, the traders from Mississippi are willing to work with us. Hooray! Hooray! And you guys are coming along very nicely. 300's a lot, but mm, look at that. Beautiful. This is almost done. Ruin Depot. Oh, uh, resistance is going down. Is it? Not? Maybe it's not. Oh, it is. It is. Crop rotation. Good. I'm, I'm loving the piece that we have right now. I like piece. Uh, we could probably use that for now, too. I'd like to get another research slot, but I doubt it'll happen. Issue government bond, what is that? So, effects when selected, add two off-map workshops for 500 days, remove one workshop from Linares, add, oh. So basically, you lose a civilian workshop in the long run. No thanks, no thanks. Clamp down on autonomy, it's not really worth doing. But, you know what, I'm glad we got, even though the war was tough, I'm glad we got it. And I'm glad these luchadores are getting closer to Zapata over here. Hmm. We're going to need more divisions than, than just this. Hmm. I need to research demo teams. That would be important. How, many, how much infantry equipment do we have? Not enough. I'm just going to go ahead and throw on one more for now. That would be fine. And the boy from the south, let's do secure foreign loans. One way to finance our reconstruction is to borrow money from our neighbors. In the long run, we'll have to pay it back, but in, in, but in the long run, they're all dead. Makes a good point. It makes a very, very good point. Good, good, good. We still get 1.68 political power day. That's really nice. Metalworking is awesome as well. Let's see. It's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go and do that. Standardized tools. That's important. You guys, train if you need to. Hurts our gun production a little bit. Our stockpile stuff, that's okay. It's worth it. Spec Ops equipment. It's only, have only one division. I might even make that. I might just get rid of the Spec Ops division. Hmm. Spec Ops. I mean, they're okay. They're not really worth it. Hmm. Special Forces. Hmm. I'm probably going to say nah. I don't know. Should I? Let me know in the comments below. Should I keep Special Forces? I'm feeling like they're they're not really that super necessary. I'm I'm totally okay though, allowing them to like become infantry because that might work. And actually, I'm going to do this real quick. It's only 30 political power, and we need some water, so we definitely need some water. S secure foreign loans. This costs a lot. Wow. Ah, good. Secure foreign loans. The trade baroness. Oh, Martinez. Time healer. We can't do this because we chose. Avila's New Deal, so we can't do that yet, Dante's Inferno, we gotta wait for the election. Whew. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's try uh, the Trade Baroness. The Trade... The Baroness's guidance will be invaluable, as long as she is kept in the lifestyle to which she is accustomed. Ooh, she sounds expensive. Oh no, oh no. That sounds real expensive. I don't like that. Hmm, let's do that as well. We'll do that. We'll put you down here, so we can get more guns. We'll do that. Resource production. Let's move on over to... over here, perhaps. Let's get some simple circuitry already. That'd be fine. Broadcast a speech. Ooh! Loans from Vegas. Provides a boost to political power, consumer goods, production, and military factory efficiency. 50 units of commercial protectrons, or basic let's say, weaponry, or basic weaponry. Loans? I don't really like loans that much. Senate's still looking great, but... Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big person who t likes to take out loans. Not too many. What is the Yakuza tribe doing? Oh, you're fighting two fronts of Oh, the Yakuza tribes. Why? That's not a smart decision. 91% great. You can probably go to spread outposts. That's fine. That's not bad. Do we have how much doggos do we have? How many? 110, that's not bad. 
You gotta get rid of that. Good. We're doing okay. We're actually doing okay. It's June 2077. Yamp declared war on Yinta. Which is something we don't really care about, but that's okay. That's okay. Brock has a speech. Indecision 20 days. And I'll see what that does first. We have the trade baroness. The boy from the bayou. Let's go ahead and do a military thing. Oh, reclaim the Rio Grande. That looks better. So we will drive Santa Ana back one day. Just by world as time goes down. Not bad. Not bad. I want to see what this indecision does, though, before we end the episode. And maybe we can core this area. Monterey, perhaps. No longer gets effects in district support. Oh, we need more compliance. Just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. And, yep, yeah, I knew that would happen. So, Vault City, you're looking pretty good. New Reno's looking pretty good as well. Hopefully they kill each other off, but you never know. Scavenging program. Mm, still nothing else here. And we got a week, so we gotta wait a little bit more on that. Reclaim the Rio Grande. Hopefully that doesn't make uh, Santa Ana do too much of anything crazy. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Can we do that? No, we can't. Dogs. I love dogs. Let's get some dynamite. Ooh, look! Another division. We actually have another one of these. So, like I said before, let me know in the comments below what should this army or this yeah these armies names be? Like, what should this one be? I have no idea. Please stop going on. I press this. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me know what the army name should be. So, our new president. The people have flocked to ballot boxes, and after due consideration, have picked their president. No matter who prevailed, the fact that our leaders are chosen by the people instead of a diktat from above is a testament to Rio. Viva Libertad! Dante's Inferno. So, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Then I will personally deliver justice for Mexico and for my wife. Vow to destroy the Legion at any cost. Do the ends justify the means. Oh, Garrett devoted himself to defeating the Legion, of course, but there were many ways to go about this. Garrett himself wanted to inspire the people of the Wasteland, urging them to work together to slay the bull, but his daughter darkly predicted that that would never work. The only way forward was to be ruthless as a Legion. Your mother would have expected better. Who will become charismatic the day he met his wife, but she's not here. Oh my god, this seems like an important decision. What do I do? What do I do? Ooh, Vindicta. Ooh, violence against the Legion. I like that. Ooh, Matador. Burning Heart. Ooh. The Heart of Mexico. Statehood for all. Now, I've heard that if you, like, get everyone in the Rio Pack, you might be able to absorb other members of the Rio Pack later on. That sounds like a lot of fun. So. Uh, I guess. F ooh, let's be charismatic. Oh, uh, I'll go with charismatic. But we're going to end today's episode right there, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you. Uh, if you did, though, if you. Consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we shall le lead the Republic of the Rio Grande to glory. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.